Now we're going to discuss some of the performance tools in Ableton. First, let's talk about EQ. To put an EQ on a track, first we go to the browser and look at Live's devices. You can see we've got some options here. We'll scroll up. Take a look at the EQ3. Now you can see in this drop down menu there's a number of different preset settings, but we'll just grab the default device by clicking on this header. And what we'll do is we'll drag that onto the track, like so. You can see our track view pops up here, changing over from the clip view, and the EQ3 device is inserted on that track. So we've dropped the EQ device onto Audio Track 1, and it's showing up down here in the track view. Now, for those that are new to EQs, here's what an EQ does. An equalizer adjusts the frequency balance of a track via boosting or cutting in different bands. You can see over here we have a low band, a mid band, and a high band, which is very typical for a DJ mixer style equalizer. Low is our bass frequencies, mid or the mid-range frequencies, the frequencies in the middle, and treble are our high frequencies. And we have some other controls here as well. These buttons are what's commonly known as kills. By deselecting these, we take out all of the low frequencies from the signal, or all of the mid frequencies, or all of the high frequencies. Let's hear that in action. So you can see, by turning the low gain down, we gradually roll off the low frequencies. Or we can kill the low frequencies altogether. Pretty useful tool there. There's a kill for the high frequencies. Or a gradual roll off. Now, we also have control over where the filter roll-off is set. So we can kill the high frequencies, and then play with the filter, as so. Another pretty common DJ effect. Now, you see here we have a filter roll-off for the low frequencies, which behaves much the same way, for the high frequencies. And then we have this setting in the middle, which is 24 or 48, which controls the steepness of those two filters. Basically, each one of these has a slightly different sound, and you can experiment to figure out which one suits your music best. So let's look at some of the other common insert effects. Try the flanger here. Again, you can drag that either up into the track strip in our session view, or right down here onto the track view. You can enable or disable these devices by clicking on this on-off button. Each one has one. So we'll disable the EQ for now and just leave the flanger enabled. You see the flanger has a number of different controls that change the sound. And then by moving this dot around the screen here, it changes some of the parameters, the delay time and feedback. See how that might come in handy? Let's take a look at the overdrive. Pretty harsh distortion effect. Now keep in mind you can change the order of these, perhaps putting an EQ after your overdrive. One more we want to take a look at here, the auto filter. This filter is designed very much like the filters on our EQs. However, you can also set it to oscillate or respond to the shape of the music that's playing.
changing the shape of the filter, much in the same way that the 24 or 48 setting on the EQ changes the steepness. Say the filter also can change the panning. Works great with this breakdown section. A world of possibilities available with Live's built in devices. Now, as you can see, there's a huge number here. I've showed you some of the more popular ones, particularly for DJing applications, but there's enough that you'll want to take some time to explore and get to know them. Using these, you can really kind of develop your own sound and inject some personality and uniqueness to your DJing style. So take the time to get to know those. Now, when we insert these effects on our tracks, these are applied to just the audio track that we were playing. Our other audio track here, as you'll notice, still plays back cleanly. If we wanted to apply an EQ to this track, we would do it exactly the same way. We'd take one of Live's devices, drag it onto that audio track, and then we'd have the same degree of control we did with the other one.